What's going on, everyone? It is an absolutely gorgeous day today. It is 56 degrees outside, very low humidity. The weather is absolutely beautiful. The sun is out. What better day than to make a road trip out to an RV show? This is gonna be a really, really cool event. I went to the same show last year, and it's a relatively small show. It takes place in Rockport, Texas. Again, the area that was hit pretty hard by Hurricane Harvey and really decimated the area. So it's always good to see these types of shows and to see things coming back and kind of getting back into that normal routine. So the specific show that I'm going to today is actually more of an open house. Camper Clinic in Rockport, Texas throws this every single year and it's essentially to kick off the winter Texan season. So essentially we're all the folks who travel down from up north come this way so they can hang out down here where it's still relatively mild and you know the weather down here starts to kind of approach the 65 degree daily range. Of course it drops down more than that, sometimes it gets warmer than that, but it's much better than the typical 95 to 105 degree weather. So this is kind of that kickoff event and I'm going to go out here just like I did last year, film some units, kind of showcase what's going on, let you see some of the products that they carry. They carry a lot of grand design units and they carry a lot of Keystone as well as a few Forest Rivers. So it's always a fun event. Now, if you're unaware, I'm crossing over what's called the Harbor Bridge. This is a extremely large bridge in Corpus Christi, Texas, which connects one part of Corpus to another part. And directly to the left of me, which you can probably see a couple tower cranes, is the new Harbor Bridge that will be replacing this one. And what's significant about that bridge is the fact that it will be one of the longest, largest cable stay bridges in the country. It's gonna be huge. Look it up online. Just look up New Harbor Bridge, Corpus Christi, Texas. The driving platform or the deck that you actually drive on that bridge will be as tall as the highest point of the bridge that I'm currently on, which if you've ever been on the current Harbor Bridge, you'll know is pretty tall. So that is a huge project. I think it was like a billion and a half dollars. It's one that Texas Department of Transportation have been planning for a long time and they secured funding a couple years ago for it and it's supposed to wrap up in about two years. It's about a year and a half to two years behind schedule, uh, mainly because they had to move a lot of homes and residences out of the path of the new bridge in order to make it work and some of that took some time. Overall though, it's going to be a beautiful bridge. It's huge. It's going to be much wider and again significantly taller, but it's definitely going to be something that kind of puts a dot on the map for Corpus Christi. So that's going to be really cool. It's going to be lit up with LED lighting. It's just a really cool project. So I'm on my way out to Rockport. I'll be there for a while trying to get as much content as I can. I hope you enjoy it. This is a great time to click that subscribe button and the notification button so you have an idea of when new videos are coming out because you may find your dream RV watching this channel. And I'm not trying to sell you on anything. If anything, I'd just like to kind of point out the different floor plans that are available to you, what type of families, what type of living or camping situation they might be best for, and of course try to match it to the right type of truck that would be safest to tow it. And in my book, that's what it's all about. It's not about maxing out your truck. It's about making sure that you have the safest, most carefree towing experience you can have. And that's generally why I make the recommendations I do. So again, guys, if you haven't had a chance, please take a moment, subscribe to my channel, hit that notification button, and we'll be in Rockport very soon. We are here, Camper Clinic, Rockport, Texas. So we are here at the Camper Clinic open house show, kick off to winter Texan season. People are starting to roll in here. I'm parked right over there in the corner. We're gonna walk around, take a look at as many units as we can. Again, they have a ton of grand design units some coachman units, they carry Montanas, a bunch of different products. Around this side, firing up the grill.
So we're gonna take a quick look again at this Montana High Country mid bunk. I already did a video on it, but I wanted to show it to you, especially because it's on clearance. First of all, check out this huge storage area basement. It's massive, partially because of that big drop frame. Secondly, it has a nice outside kitchen, doesn't have a sink, does have a cooktop though. Let's take a quick look again inside of this fifth wheel. Again, it's on clearance. Stepping over to the left here, you'll see it has a beautiful kitchen. The island is nice and it has a flip up counter. I really wish other fifth wheels would adopt this on several different floor plans. I love the coffee station, it's rare, plus the pantry and all the countertop space you get in the kitchen next to the oven. It also has a relatively small TV, which I can appreciate. A lot of fifth wheels go with these huge TVs and it takes away space from the kitchen that normally could be extra counter space next to the stove. So this is really nice that they give you a slightly smaller TV, but more practical. The theater seating's nice. The dinette area is really nice. Stepping back, let's go into the mid bunk area. Has a nice mid bunk. I do wish it had one of those flip up bunks on top of the love seat, but it has a desk and that is really cool. So you could kind of use this as an office space as well. Going up the stairs, one thing I absolutely love about mid bunks is if you get it with a loft. It gives you a lot of extra room for the kiddos. It is a really cool space and it's one that kids love to stay in. You have your nice air conditioning vent here and your connections for a TV as well as charging your phones. Now moving along to the bedroom area, king size bed, a lot of space on each side of the bed. I absolutely love the headboard and the design there, very contemporary and modern. I love the space that they give you inside of the closet and the space they give you for a stackable or combination washer and dryer. This is really a great floor plan. I do wish they continued the linoleum into the front bedroom instead of using the carpet. And you're starting to see that on more units. Taking a look inside the bathroom, one piece shower stall system, a ton of countertop space next to the sink and cabinets and storage for your toiletries and plenty of space in front of the toilet, about two and a half feet. There's a really interesting hinged door system here. You know, this really is one of my favorite floor plans for a mid bunk. Let's take a look at the numbers. So the numbers on this unit, it has a gross vehicle weight rating of 16,500 pounds and a cargo capacity of 3,470 pounds. So this is definitely what I would consider dually territory, mainly because of the height, the weight, and the length. You want the most stability possible with a unit like this. And one more time, check out the connection side of the storage, your waterworks board, which also looks really nice. And here is your mid bunk slide. It uses all cable driven slides. I really wish it had a Schwintec slide here, a Schwintec slide up front and rack and pinion slides on the back two slides. This does have the road armor suspension, which is the same suspension we have on our fifth wheel now. It does utilize Rainier F rated tires. I do wish they put a G rated tire on a unit this size. This also utilizes an eight inch I-beam for the drop frame section. The top is a 12 inch I-beam. This is actually a really nice fifth wheel and it's on clearance. What I like about it is the floor plan, a lot of the external features. What I don't like about it is the overuse of cable driven slides in my opinion. It does have the hydraulic level up six point auto leveling system, which is also really nice. So I'll be at this show for a while. So if you haven't had a chance, please take a moment, subscribe to my channel, hit the notification button, give me a thumbs up and we'll talk to you again very soon.